Hello everyone. So let us continue our discussion in uniformly accelerated motion. So let us now proceed with example problem number two. A tricycle in Magsaysay Avenue can produce an acceleration of 6 meter per second squared. Letter A. How long does it take the tricycle to stop from a velocity of 30 meter per second? Letter B. How far does the tricycle travel during which the brakes are applied? The given in this problem are the following. Velocity is equal to positive 30 meter per second, while the acceleration is equal to negative 6 meter per second squared. The unknown quantities are, for letter A, it is the time, while for letter B, the X sub F. To compute for time, we will use the formula for acceleration. Using algebra, we can derive the formula T is equal to V over A. 30 meter per second divided by 6 meter per second squared, T is equal to 5 seconds. For letter B, we will use the equation number 4. For letter B, we need to consider the sign of the velocity and the acceleration. Using kinematic equation number 4, we'll be able to get the value of x sub f, that is the distance traveled during which the brakes are applied, that is equal to 75 meter. Let's have a practice test. You may now get a piece of paper and try to solve this problem. From rest, a cyclist accelerated at 8 meter per second squared for 10 seconds. Calculate its position and the velocity at the end of 10 seconds. Okay, you may start. Okay, so here are the answer for this problem. Position is equal to 400 meter, while the velocity is equal to 80 meter per second. You may also try this challenge problem. A plane lands with a speed of 250 meter per second and can accelerate at the highest rate of negative 5 meter per second squared as it comes to rest. When it touches runway, find the minimum time interval needed before it came to rest. Okay, thank you.